Heads up, this podcast contains some swearing. Previously on Lost in Williamsburg. Please welcome cats with benefits. Happy Halloween, everyone. I love you, Guitar Girl. Howdy killed me. She killed me. If it isn't Roger P. Schiffel. Well, I haven't had a proposition like that in years. Has anyone seen Caleb? Okay, folks, I'm back. Let's give it up for Cats with Benefits. So, we're going to take a break right now, but stick around. CWB will be back after the break. And in the meantime, DJ Flip will be spitting some great tunes. So, party on. Uh, All right, all right! DJ Flip is in the house! Caleb, uh, before we break, I'd like to add something. Sorry. Um, you know, it's great to be here with you all tonight, but there's one person who isn't here. And I... I just... I just want you to know... Aaron! 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 Wow, I... Aaron! Oh, sorry. Thanks, guys. We'll be back a little later. Oh, I am feeling the love tonight! Now let's get this next set going! You okay, pal? Yeah, I'm fine. That was a great set, guys. Caleb! Hey, Caleb. Can't wait till the next one. Aw, thanks, babe. Yeah, thanks, pal. I'm glad you encouraged us to stick with the show. It's really meant a lot to us. Hey, uh, l- listen, Caleb. Uh, you want to go grab a drink? Just you and me? We can go hang out on the back porch. Um, listen, Josh. Yeah? Can I catch up with you later? Uh... I've got a... Yeah? Something I need to do. That sounds vague. Hmm. Uh, okay, we'll talk later. Give me a kiss. Ooh, I think someone's getting lucky later tonight. Shut up, Lauren. See you later, Caleb. See ya. See, I told you guys this would be good for us. CWB forever. Woo! Jesus, Lauren, <laughs> what are you on tonight? Trust me, she's not on anything. Ever heard the phrase, manic pixie dream girl? Ugh. Sorry, Lauren. My bad. Whatever. You know, in all seriousness, it really came together tonight. It did. I was so worried the Cats with Benefits would never perform again, but thank God Olivia was able to fill in for Aaron. You did a great job, Olivia. You think so? You were terrific, Olivia. If Aaron could have seen this, he would have been so proud. Oh, wow. That's really nice of you to say. You sounded amazing. And that rap you wrote worked out great. Actually, I think it was your drumming that stole the show. You really rocked it. Mm, so sexy. You better believe it. <laughs> yeah, you really tore into those drums. What was up with that? Halloween magic, maybe? <laughs> what about you, Josh? You really made that keyboard your bitch. It makes one wonder what else those fingers are capable of. A lot, I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, Lauren's getting that look in her eye. Really? I know what you're thinking. You want to make this a regular thing? I think we should. No kidding. We haven't even finished this show, and I'm ready for another gig. Wow, it's like you read her mind, Josh. It's not that hard. (laughs) Oh, come on, Josh. Listen, guys, I'm having a lot of fun tonight, but I think this is going to be it for a while. But can't we... Next week's going to be a bear. After all that rehearsing we did last week, I'm really going to have to crack down on my term paper. Yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff i got to catch up on, too. Well, wait, here's a crazy idea. Yes? Since everyone's so busy right now with the semester coming to an end... Go on. Why don't we just take a break from performing and do some songwriting? Eh, we can all do that on our own, you know, whenever we have time. <sighs> well, we need more material if we're going to keep the band going. Come on, man, just chill out. It's been a long week, and now I'm ready to have some fun. I need a drink. Sorry, Zeph. You're right. I should just relax and enjoy the moment. Now you're thinking like a boss. I like your idea though, Josh. I'm totally up for it. Can't we talk about this later? We don't need to figure out everything right now. I guess not. Hey, isn't that Jordan over there? I wasn't sure she was going to make it tonight. Who's Jordan? She was... uh, She is Aaron's girlfriend. I asked her to come out so she could hear his new song. Oh, I see. She shows up for the party, but not the vigil? What's up with her? Jesus, Lauren, give her a break. What? Why are you so cranky all of a sudden? Listen, Lauren. What? I've gone along with everything you want to do this past week. Uh Uh-oh. The band, rehearsing, bringing in someone new. No offense, Olivia. Oh, no. It's just getting to be too much. You know, guys, I think I see someone I need to talk to. I'll be back after the break, okay? Uh, okay. See you then. See you then. Looking forward to the next set. We are too. Seth, that was rude. You hurt her feelings. She's fine. I told her she did a great job. Zeph, we need to show some unity here. We don't want Olivia to ditch us now. She just joined the band. Yeah. Oh my god. What? What? I hope you guys have stocked up on crocodile repellent. What? What? You are both deep in denial. Hey guys, great show. Hey Jordan. You guys were awesome and I love you. 
loved that new song. Thanks. It's not a party. Uh, Someone <laughs> it, glad you made it. I wouldn't have missed it. Wait, where's Olivia? Wasn't she just here? You just missed her. Oh, that's too bad. I wanted to meet her. She's actually pretty fucking awesome. Well, you can catch up with her later. Seth, do you want to go outside and talk about things? Um, sure. Just let me finish this text. Who are you texting? It's just a friend asking me about an assignment. On Halloween night? No, it uh, came this afternoon, and I just remembered I needed to answer him. Okay. Actually, Lauren, I forgot something else. It'll only take a few minutes. I'll be right back, okay? All right, whatever. So, Jordan, was that the first time you heard the new song? Did Aaron ever play it for you? Oh, hold on a sec. I just got a message. What the hell? What is it? It's nothing, just an annoying message from my mom. She's always pestering me. Hold on. All right then, guys. I'm gonna go get a beer. Do y'all want anything? No, I'm fine right now. Thanks, Lauren. Yeah, I'll, I'll get something in a bit. Actually, I want to talk to Jordan for a minute. Fine, I'll see you later. See you, Lauren. So, Josh, what do you want to talk about? Yo, 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 William and Mary! Are you guys Come having on, Jordan, fun yet? Come on, Jordan, let's get off the stage. I said, are you guys having fun yet? So, Jordan, I was just wondering how you were doing. I appreciate you coming out tonight, but it must have been hard for you to hear Aaron's last song. Please, Josh, don't go there. I just want one night where I don't have to talk about my feelings and everything that's happened. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to Sorry, upset. Sorry, it's fine. You sure? It's fine. Oh, okay. So, um, uh, Olivia's working out? Y'all seem to have a good time up there. Oh, crap. What? Megan's here. Who's Megan? Don't, don't look. She's a slightly insane friend of mine. I don't want to talk to her. Okay. I'm going to go somewhere else before she sees me. We'll talk more later. Josh, wait. You're just gonna leave me here alone? Wow, I've never seen him move so fast. John, watch what you're doing. I am. No, you're not. You're drifting. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're drifting into the left lane. Then stop distracting I'm me. not the problem. You were drunk. No, I'm not. I'm perfectly fine. Jeez. If I'd known you were keeping liquor in the glove compartment, I would have never gotten in this car. Fine. You want to go home? Yes, please. I'll turn the car around right now. Fine. But we haven't seen the river yet. Forget about the river. It's so beautiful, though. John, I... And it's just up ahead. I just want to go home before I'm killed on this goddamn road. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Roger. I'll get you home safe and sound. Christ, I knew there was a reason I what? avoided this guy for 20 years. What? What did you just say? Nothing. Don't mumble. It's rude. Listen, John. I know you're going through a rough time. Rough time? Are you kidding? One of my daughters just hanged herself. John, you have no idea what it's like, Roger. Maybe not, but I know drinking is not going to fix things. Who said anything Especially about- this cheap stuff. What is this? Dinwiddie Dandycock? What's wrong with that? You are really scraping the bottom of the barrel with this crap. Well, it was good enough for my daddy. Have some if you want. John, have you- Ever thought about seeing a professional? A professional? Like a shrink? Yeah. What in the hell could they do? Well... No shrink is going to bring back my daughters. It's not about bringing them back, John. Well, what is it about, then? It's about... Wait. Why are you slowing down? Look. There it is. What? Sandy Fields Farm? No, not Sandy Fields Farm. Dunhill Farm. That's the correct name. Whatever. People would still call it that if it still belonged to my family. That farm should have been mine. Please, don't tell me you're gonna stop. Oh. Well, maybe I should. Are you kidding? Do you know how late it is? Uh, who cares? I may never get a chance to see this place again. Once those developers get their hands on it. You should be happy they're gonna fix it fix up. Fix it up? Do you know what they're gonna do to it? I'm sure you're gonna tell me. They're gonna gut that place like a rabbit rip it to pieces and turn it into some hoity-toity spa or whatever the hell they call it now. At least it'll get some use instead of just rotting away. Use? That's not what a farm's for. Pedicures and facials. But no <laughs> one farms around here. You know how many hours I spent working and sweating in those fields? Baling hay? Shoveling shit? Please, John. Let's go home. I need to check on Shirley. It's been years since I've been in there. John. The old homestead. Oh, God. Roger, 
How'd you like to come with me? Let's let's take a peep inside. I don't have time for come this. Come on, Raj. It'll be fun. I'll give you the grand tour. There's no way in hell I'm going in that death trap. What are you, scared? Well, you know what they say. Fear is an aphrodisiac. Oh, for Pete's sake. Fine. You stay here. I am going in. Whatever. I've had enough. Don't worry, I'll be quick. Stay as long as you like. I'll have Uber pick me up. Well, suit yourself. I'll just take my time. Oh, it... it looks so lonely now. Are you... are you sure you don't want to come in? You are on your own, John. Yeah. I always have been. You know, I think I still have the key. I wonder if it still works. Well, of course not, damn it. But there must be a way in. What are you doing? I think I've got an old towel or something in the trunk here. What do you need a towel for? John? John? That stupid little lock is not going to stop me. All right, here goes. Ow! God damn it! Check it out, y'all! DJ Flip back with a special announcement from the management. If y'all are going outside, please do not throw your cups on the grass. We gotta be good neighbors, y'all, okay? Now let's get back to the party. Excuse me. Yeah? I think I just saw you talking to a friend of mine. Josh? Where did he go? Um, I'm not sure. Outside, maybe? Oh, well, I'm sure I'll run into him later. I'm Megan, by the way. Hi, I'm Jordan. So are you having fun? I am. Halloween's my favorite night of the year. Well, you've got a great costume. Uh, what are you, a cook or a maid? I guess I'm technically the daughter of a middle-class shop owner, but whatever. It's just a fun dress for twirling. Woo! <laughs> okay, nice. Sorry, I'm just a little bit high right now, but don't tell anyone. Won't say a word. So you didn't feel like dressing up? No, um... I'm not really feeling the Halloween spirit this year. Uh, I just came out to support cast with benefits. Listen, I've got just the thing to get you into the Halloween spirit. I'm having a seance later, at midnight. Are you interested? Wow, I haven't had a seance since my fourth grade sleepover. Well, this is the real deal. I've got a powerful connection to the other side. Really? I always have. It runs in my family. Uh-huh. You should come. The living have a lot of questions, and the dead certainly have a lot to say. Uh, so who are you going to be talking to? I'm going to see if I can talk to Aaron Seeger and find out how he died. Died? Yeah, ever since he died, I've been sensing his spirit around. Oh my god. What? What did I say? You're a fucking psychic. You figure it out. I'm out of here. Sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, Megan, I think the seance is going to be a bust. Megan, what did you just say to Jordan? Oh, hi, Ted. I just told her I was going to have a seance to talk to Aaron Seeger. Oh, man. But I guess she knew him. Uh, yeah, that was his girlfriend. You didn't know? Oh, shit. I didn't realize that. Oh, my God, that is so ironic. But don't worry about it. I'm up for a seance. Really? Sure. Great. We're meeting upstairs in the storage room at midnight. Awesome. I'll bring a friend. Oh my god. I am finally home again. No lights though. Wow, even though it's empty, it's still just full of memories. Rise and shine, sweetie pie. Time for breakfast. Good morning, Mama. John, why are you still in bed? Those cows ain't going to milk themselves. I know, I know. I'm getting up. Mama. Daddy. Even after all these years, I still miss you. 
Oh, here's the kitchen. You can still smell the grease on the walls. Hey, Mom. Hey, Pop. Guess what happened at school today? I don't know, John. Why don't you have a glass of milk and tell me all about it? Make it quick, John. Those pigs are hungry. Poor Daddy. I did love him, but he never could see much beyond this farm. Mama, Mama. Daddy. Daddy, I got the letter. I've been, I've accepted, been accepted to the College of William and Mary. Mary. I'm so I'm proud, proud of you, John. John. You're going to do amazing, amazing things. things. Tech would have, would have been a better choice. choice. William and Mary ain't going to teach you nothing about farming. Come on, Daddy. Daddy. John, don't John, listen, don't to, listen your to your pa. Your you could be the next Thomas, Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson. Sorry to break it to you, kid. But us Dunhills ain't cut out for brain work. Pa, why do you have to be so negative? Don't start with me, Mom. I ain't got time for all your bullshit. don't have time for anything. For God's sake, would you just lay off, woman? I'm sorry I couldn't be what you wanted, Daddy. But I had to follow my dreams. John, John, where are you? I can't see a thing in here. I'm in here. But I thought you weren't going to set foot in this house. I wasn't. But Uber says they can't make it. Why not? They say the police shut down the old country road tonight. Shut it down? Ugh, spider webs. Ugh. Oh, they're harmless. Come on, John, can we please just get out of here? In a minute. There's still one more thing I have to see. Haven't you seen enough? I want to see my old room. Upstairs. Don't go up there. You're going to break your neck. It's pitch black. You don't need to worry about me, Roger, for Pete's sake. This staircase is as solid as a rock. That's how my grandpa built it. John, for Christ's sake. Wait! your text, Seth. What did you want to talk about? Jordan, I didn't think you were going to come out here. Neither did I. So what was that? Texting me right in front of Lauren? She didn't catch on. I just wanted to see. <laughs> are, are you enjoying the party? You look great. Seth, you didn't drag me to some secret spot behind the equator so you could ask me about the damn party. Yeah, I guess not. Come here. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm doing what I feel like doing. Two-timing Lauren? I know. It doesn't make any sense. But I can't stop myself. Seth, I... look, we made a mistake. One mistake. Mistake? We should... we should just forget that it ever happened. Really? Is that what we should do? Yes, we have to put it behind us. Jordan, I tried, but I can't. And I don't think you can either. Seth, the last few weeks have been crazy. Studying, midterms, that night with you, and then Aaron disappears? I can... I'm so fucking stressed out, I'm going to start screaming. It's okay. Scream if you need to. Oh my god. Everyone thinks I'm devastated over Aaron, and I'm just... I, I am, but not like they think. What do you mean? Everyone's treating me like I'm made of glass. I'm not his fucking widow. I was gonna dump him. Dump him? For me? No, idiot. For me. It just wasn't working anymore. And then he, he disappeared before we could talk, and... Oh god, I, I feel so guilty. Like, I feel like I'm lying all the time, and... It's all right. I know how you feel. How could you? Jordan, I'm not exactly being truthful with Lauren. If I thought there was a chance for us... There's... not. Really? Kiss me and tell me that. Seth, I just... God, I'm such a mess. Just hold me, Zeph. Just please, just hold me. It's okay, Jordan. It's okay. What a trip. My old room. I wonder if it's still here. What? Now, where was it? Where was what? Hmm. I can't quite remember. Now, the bed was in the corner there, and the dresser was over here by the window. So it must have been somewhere here. What the hell are you talking about? Let's see. Oh, me. What are you doing on the floor? 
it should be around here some <gasps> here it is I think I found it what it's got to be empty though surely someone has found it by now found what it was my hiding place my secret hiding place if I can just get this board up I think you're losing your mind wait a minute <gasps> I think something's still in here. What? I can't quite make it out, though. I need some moonlight. Oh. <sighs> oh my God. What? Valerie. What is? Oh my God. I had completely forgotten about this thing. What the hell is that? My poor little girl. My poor little girl. Valerie, it's time for breakfast. Get out! Oh, oh, my, oh my God. God. Daddy, why didn't you knock? What in the world is that? It's something I made. She wasn't supposed to see it. I wish I had. Please, don't tell Mom. She wouldn't understand. You can't tell her. Oh, Lord, Valerie, you can't, you can't, you can't. what am I going to do about this? Daddy, please. You know what? Let me show you something. What are you doing? It's something I had when I was a little boy. I don't even know if it's still here. You hid something under the floorboards? I think so. You know, this used to be my bedroom. A long, a long time ago. Oh my gosh. It is still here. What is it? Secrets, honey. My box of secrets. A box of secrets? Yes, when I was your age, I kept all my secrets here in this little box. Ooh, it's beautiful. Well, thank you, dear. I painted it myself. What did you keep in there? Just junk, really. Though it seemed very important at the time. Oh, I've got to see what's in there. Let's open it up. That key should be around here somewhere. Here it is. Open it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let, me Let me check first. first. Give it here, Daddy. Valerie, Valerie give that back. <laughs> Wait. This doesn't this look doesn't very look interesting. interesting. What's, What's this? this? Oh, Lord, that's, Lord, a, that's silver a silver coin, coin I stole when, stole they, when they were excavating, they were excavating the, governor's the governor's palace. palace. I should really give that back. What are all these pictures? Well, mm -mm, Marlon Brando? Valerie, get, get those here. Montgomery Cliff? It's nothing. It, it doesn't concern you. Tab Hunter? Come on, come on, please. They're all actors, aren't they? Why are they? Well, well oh, I, I, I loved movies when I was a kid. Um, and boys my age weren't supposed to like movies. We played baseball. Oh. Anyhow, it's, it's not important. But what is important is that I want you to have this little box. Why? Well, Valerie, we all have things that we want to hide. Really? It's only natural. And young girls have secrets. Some are stranger than others, though. Daddy, now I want you to take that, that, that thing over there and put it in this box. But put it away with any other secrets you may have. Just find some dark hidden corner somewhere and keep that box in it and don't tell anyone about it. But your secret box. And you're not going to tell Mom? No, no, no. It'll just be between us. Okay, Daddy. Now, come on, honey. Grandma's making pancakes. Let's just forget all that's happened and go get ourselves a hot breakfast. Okay? I love you. Me too, Me too, honey. Me too. Me too. Ah, what was that? John, I'm starting to freak out here. We need to leave, right now. You're right. I, I need to get home and see Jess. Yes, and I want to see Shirley, so let's- Freeze! Don't make a move! You have been listening to another installment of the somewhat locally known audio drama, Lost in Williamsburg. Tonight's episode was entitled, Something to Remember. This evening's cast included Reed Perkins as Caleb Souter, Jacob Wilson as Josh Ryder, Kat Turk as Lauren Tasky, Daniel Turner as Seth Metcalf, Nora Knight as Olivia Bryson, Claudia Swain as Jordan Bales, Claire Penix as Megan Marshall, Philip Bircher as John Dunhill, Robert Mosby as Roger P. Schiffel, Albert Heedwall as Pa Dunhill, Allison Valenti Peabody as Ma Dunhill, and Caroline Peabody as the young Valerie Dunhill. Tune in again next time as the story continues. Josh, thanks for ditching me earlier. Am I at the right place for the raising of the dead? Sorry about that stuff with Zeph earlier. I've never gotten so much attention before. Everyone's buying me drinks. This episode of Lost in Williamsburg was snipped, ripped, polished, and zipped by Philip Merritt with the help of a few sound effects from freesound.org. 
Thank you for listening. This is your host, Caroline Corney, giving an additional extra special thank you to Daisy Hall for all the Facebook likes. We really appreciate it. And finally, just to let you know, as we speak, show creator Philip Merritt is feverishly working to bring this meandering story to some kind of conclusion. Hopefully, it'll be very soon, as I have had to turn down many, many other hosting offers due to a do-not-compete clause in my contract. It's only a matter of time, though. Good night.